Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 1. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we do not need to write you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly, as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as the breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. So in the first section of chapter 5, it is talking about um, the end times. So we should not be setting dates or trying to figure out when the end times are coming. They will come when he is ready. Now, based on what we have read in the Bible from Revelation and other passages, there are key points that because we're believers and we know the word, that we might be able to notice these things as they come. But still, even if we see that there are signs of the end times, we still do not know the date or the hour. So we shouldn't be saying it's going to happen on this certain month or this certain day. Uh, because it is God's timing and not our own. Um, so those that are not Christians, though, and those that are in the darkness, they will be surprised when this all happens and won't even have a clue of what is going on. Final instructions, verse 12. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord, and who admonish you Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other, and we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened, help the weak, be patient with everyone, make sure that nobody pays wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will. For you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The only one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have the letter read to all brothers and sisters. The grace our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. So to wrap up, wrap up chapter 5, um, these verses are talking that we should be including Jesus in everything that we do. We should be praying um, when things are good. Um, praying to him when things are bad, we should always be including Jesus into our lives and be thankful for what he does. And we should fellowship with other believers as well um, so that we're connected to God in that way. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will move on to chapter 4 next. <laughs>